I was hoping to make this video before Jamie French committed. Uh, I knew it was today, um, whatever today is, uh, last day of August, or I don't even know, 30, 31 days. August 30th, I knew he was committing. This is Jamie French, obviously. Uh, was not expecting it to happen at 9 a.m. I should have looked at it at the time. Um, and I would have done the video yesterday, but at any rate, uh, this is the newest Texas Longhorn, Jamie French. He was committed to... Um, Bama, if I remember right, and I'm pretty sure he decommitted, like, the day uh, Saban retired, or if not the day, like, in the immediate fallout. Remember, there was a bunch of Alabama guys that had decommitted, and um, he was a 25, so it was a while down the road anyways. But he says he's going to Austin next year. We'll see how the rest of the process plays out. So he's listed at 6'2". Say six one, you know, six foot. It's a state championship game here. I'm trying to tell who that other team, I don't remember who they played. He's got a real good looking frame, so um, yeah, he's got to add weight, whatever. Uh, he's he's got a plus frame for sure. I think his burst is is real good. I want to see how he is in space a little bit, but um, yeah, ball tracking, ball skills, all check out. There's a guy, um, top top prospect, a little different from the guys I did uh, last last videos I put up. Some of them were a bit. More or less under-recruited. God forbid you say anything bad about a recruit and you're going to have people <laughs> on your nuts about it. N not going to be a whole lot of bad to say about this kid. Um, I mean, he's a real smooth route runner. Like I said, him off the ball is real good, but after that, he's got that change of direction, you know, the agility type stuff. You see how smooth he is. I uh, just want to see that long speed come up a little bit here before... We keep extolling his virtues and whatnot. Uh, it's just a real, real athletic, real athlete here. <laughs> it's like, to be honest, that first step wasn't even as efficient as it could be, and he's, he's just moving already. I really don't know who this is that they're playing. Um, if anybody has any information on that. God damn. I'm run that one back. It's a horrible I'm not I'm not taking away from Jamie here. But that cornerback. Oh my god. Whoa. That's the same kid. That kid just got bullied that game. I think these are all going to be blocking highlights. Oh. So the one thing um, I'll say is inconclusive. I just don't know how fast his, his real long speed is. Um, I didn't get a good read on that personally. If anybody else did, if you want to come on here and say, no, nah, no, nah, you know, he's fast. You know, he's got it. You know, by all means, feel free to 
not correct me, but to share your opinion on it. Um, just going over here to my grade. So the frame he's listed at is six two. Like I say, he's probably six one, six one and a half. Um, uh, at the end of the day, it's 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 kind of semantics. So I'll give him. To me, a great frame is like six five. You know, that's that's different. And then, but you know, when you're six five, you lose out on some of these other other stats here. Uh, route running, real good. Uh, good enough to give a six. Yeah, I'll give him a six on that. Five on the burst. Uh, five on the ball skills. Like when I say boss, like ball skills is is real. It's real all encompassing more than it ought to be. Um, again, like this number here that it spits out at the end. All it's trying to do is is make a very complicated thing a little less complicated. And you know you have to sacrifice some accuracy accuracy if you're gonna try to make it less complicated. You know, next thing you know, like it's like these Madden ratings. You you got like twenty things you're trying to rank a guy based off of. Um, some of these things include other stuff. Like a lot of time frame and ball skills go together in the sense, like when you're six, five, you know, it's just easier cause you have that frame. But, um, yeah, like what I was trying to say is ball skills includes physicality. It includes ball tracking. It includes, you know, that body contortion, you know, if you can adjust the ball in midair, uh, I thought that checked out. I didn't see anything to say otherwise. I'm going to give him a four in the long speed. Um, I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to do it because he's probably faster than I'm giving him credit. I just didn't see it. But, like, with these ball skills, you know, it's like 10% of the grade, so I'm not really, like, all that concerned with it. I am, but not, like, I am with the long speed where having not a great read on the long speed is going to give me a worse or less accurate grade here, in my opinion. Again, this is just trying to make something completely subjective, a little bit more objective. You know, I'm trying to be uh, objectively subjective where – with these grades the short area quickness i thought was a five so uh that's gonna grade him out to an 83 which is a real high number here just looking at some of these other guys um how he grades out next to him uh yeah better than nation montgomery that guy's a bit of a you know lower lower rated recruit a little little less highly uh recruited but uh these first two guys were real good um Kind of like French better than J uh, Quincy Porter. The thing that's given Quincy the edge is, is him being bigger, uh, 6'4", 6'3"-ish. He's massive, and he moves real well for how big he is. Uh, DeCorian Moore, to me, is still the best receiver in this class. Uh, yeah, he's smaller than, than Jamie French, but, you know, that explosion, that route running and all that, that's just off the – it's just off the board for him. So, to me, this is still the best uh, receiver in this class. You know, until I see otherwise, uh, I will – be of that opinion so yeah let me know what you guys think about uh jamie french um you know thank you